The Commodore 64, now in a home family pack. A family pack containing the world's number one selling home computer. Who didn't love Jeff Minter's work? First, he introduced us to mutant camels, who were intent on destroying everything. And now the genetic engineers at Llamasoft have generated a new being to help in the battle to save the universe, the multi-shielded combat sheepoids. Sheep in Space is a horizontally scrolling shooter in an approximately Defender-esque style, featuring an interstellar space sheep that can fly between two opposing planet surfaces at the top and bottom of the screen. These sheepoids are completely different to the humble sheep that we all know, and they fly around in space, firing deadly Borneos of Doom. The aim was to prevent the Zaxians destroying the eco-structure of the sheepoids planet Sothis B with their planet buster gun, which, if activated, would, uh, bust the planet and precipitate the woolly ovine one into deep space. You not only have to cope with keeping the planetary peace, but also have to monitor your hunger status and find a field and stop to graze if your sheep gets too hungry. Quite apt that the title screen features an arrangement of J.S. Bach's Sheep May Safely Graze by pianist James Lisney. As with other Llamasoft games, there is a wide variety of aliens for you to splatter, and a total of 48 different levels. The interesting features of Sheep in Space is the way the gravity acts on the game. Both the upper and lower surfaces possess gravity. Just to make life unpleasant, several of these alien enemies gang up to steal energy from your power stations. Glowing with the energy, they race to charge up their Planet Buster gun, which, if allowed to reach full charge, will blow up your planet. However, you can shoot these before that happens. The Borneos of Doom you spit forth as a weapon are affected by gravity, and destroying an escaping enemy with a gracefully curved shot just before it unloads a charge to one of the Planet Busters is a thing of beauty. If you allow the charge to reach 5, however, you can wave your planet bye-bye. It has been said that astronomy is a humbling and character-building experience. The planet has this artificial gravity due to its toroidal shape. I suppose you could imagine it being like the interior of a rubber dinghy. The nearer a sheep gets to either surface, the slower it travels. So, for maximum speed, life in the fast lane begins equidistant between the two surfaces. As mentioned, it is important to keep your sheep fed. To do this, you have to periodically land on a pasture and scoff. Overeating results in an exploding stomach and can be very nasty, but eating also replenishes your sheep shields, so you need to strike a balance between muttony gluttony and shield status. There are a number of patches of grass on the surfaces for you to land on, but watch out for the trees as you come in to land. Since the planets have a large surface, you can de-jump. This will warp you to an area with an alien. An indicator on screen tells you how many aliens remain to be destroyed before you can enter the next level. Sheep in Space has the usual Llamasoft touches. Fans of Jeff Minter styles of games will probably think that this is one of the best games since Roast Lamb. For the rest of us, it's a very decent shoot-em-up and one to definitely add to your Commodore 64 collection. And so therefore, my verdict is... That's one for you sheep lovers to understand. On a final note, the game instructions were very well written and explain in full all the various screen areas and functions. So it's definitely worth checking that out if you're wanting to get into this game. I'll link these through in the video description. Thanks for watching guys. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and let me know which of Jeff Minter's work was your favourite. There's plenty to go at and they're all brilliantly zany. I'd be interested to know your thoughts. Also, if you're new to the channel but are enjoying the nostalgia, then please do consider subscribing and following me on this epic journey revisiting classic Commodore titles just like this. With plenty more on the channel playlists and more coming daily, it'd be great for you to join me as we continue down memory lane. Hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one.
Until then, bye for now.